Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Kavanaugh's confirmed, and Twitter is burning down. Long story short, President Trump's second nominee to the Supreme Court has just been confirmed to the court, and Twitter is burning down. But since this is a reason to celebrate, let's elaborate a little. Yes. After all the hoopla the Democrats have put him through, Judge Brett Kavanaugh has been confirmed. The Senate vote was very much divided along party lines when the vote occurred just a little before 4 p.m. today. After all that has happened, the allegations against our guy of sexual misconduct, the hearing, and all the harassment he and his family have had to face because of it, things are finally as they should be, but it won't be without some opposition. With the allegations that came against him, the Senate Judiciary Committee approved a hearing and heard the testimony of Kavanaugh and his accuser, Christine Blasey Ford. From the very beginning she has claimed that her testimony of the alleged attack is truth, and he without hesitation has denied the truth of the allegations. The whole time, the left, the right, the in-betweens have all been toe-to-toe -to -toe fighting for what they think is really going on. It has been a circus to say the least, and so what has happened today, is truly a blessing for the truth. Democrats got a footing when the committee paused the nomination process for an entire week so the FBI could complete their investigation. Even after the investigation was complete Democrats were complaining that the FBI did not look hard enough or long enough to come to a good conclusion. Republicans quickly responded declaring that the FBI had not discovered any corroborating witnesses to support Ford's accusations against Kavanaugh. So here we are. Kavanaugh has been confirmed with the Senate vote of a 50 to 48 margin in favor of confirming our guy to the Supreme Court. Fun fact. Republican Senator Steve Daines of Montana did not attend the vote because he was attending his daughter's wedding, and Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska voted against advancing Kavanaugh's nomination after breaking with her party on Friday, and voted present. So what is all this about Twitter burning down? Check this out folks, it's no joke. First how about a good old-fashioned and oh-so-predictable threat from a Democrat? I wonder if having potty mouths makes them feel tougher? But is that all? Nope. There is more. This one is a bit of an oxymoron. He's scared for the country because a decent upstanding citizen of integrity has been confirmed by the Supreme Court, and yet speaks like he is a vocabulary that consists of only four-letter words a few conjunctions, and a couple copy-pasted names and titles. The Notorious Maguiro, Ireland, Shamrock. Wow Kavanaugh just confirmed to Supreme Court I'm fucking scared for this country smfh how the fuck man. Then there's this one, oh the drama, Sunflower, Adrian. At supremely good. I honestly no longer give a fuck about this I'm so done with America can I just die? This country is absolutely 100% bullshit Senate votes to confirm Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. Driving around downtown Seattle and had to pull over. I might actually and literally vomit. I can't decide if it would be worse to know that McConnell believes what he's saying about the sterling character of Brett Kavanaugh or that he's lying through his teeth. Even London is chiming in, and has the audacity to claim war in America. Petrus Axby America I feel your pain and this has proved without a shadow of a doubt that this is war. At real Donald Trump you're a disgrace. Hashtag Kavanaugh. I get their disappointment, if the tables were turned, Republicans would be just as upset, but would be much more classier about it. With our guy being confirmed by the courts today, how are you feeling? What do you think we can expect from Democrats now with things not going their way, again? With more than one of them claiming that it's war now, or that they are coming for us, do you think they need a big ol' American hug? That last question was complete sarcasm. But, we do want to know your thoughts on all this. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.